In the realm of philosophy, few names hold as much significance as Albert Camus and Jean-Paul Sartre. These two existentialist thinkers, though closely associated, possessed distinct perspectives on life, freedom, and the human condition. By delving into their backgrounds, influences, and varying beliefs, we can unravel the rich tapestry of their intellectual contributions and appreciate the impact they left on philosophy and beyond. Born in 1913 in French Algeria, Albert Camus grew up amidst poverty, which allowed him to witness firsthand the struggles of the working class. The premature death of his father during World War I and his own battle with tuberculosis deeply influenced his thinking. Camus became preoccupied with the meaning of life and the absurdity inherent in human existence. Camus's philosophy centered around the concept of the absurd. He argued that life lacks inherent purpose or meaning and that our existence is ultimately futile. Rather than succumbing to despair, however, Camus advocated for embracing the absurd. He believed that by acknowledging the fundamental lack of meaning, we can rebel against it and find joy in the face of an indifferent universe. Jean-Paul Sartre, born in Paris in 1905, enjoyed a middle-class upbringing that starkly contrasted with Camus' humble origins. Sartre's philosophical influences were shaped by German thinkers like Martin Heidegger and Friedrich Nietzsche, these thinkers helped mold his understanding of freedom, authenticity, and the nature of being. Sartre's philosophy revolved around radical freedom. He argued that we are condemned to be free, meaning that we are not bound by any predetermined essence or purpose. Rather than being burdened by this freedom, Sartre believed that it is our responsibility to embrace it fully. He stressed the importance of personal choice, emphasizing that we must take ownership of our decisions and create our own meaning in a world without inherent purpose. Despite their differences, both Camus and Sartre were considered prominent figures within the existentialist movement. Existentialism is a philosophical school of thought concerned with individual existence, freedom, and personal responsibility. While their paths diverged in certain aspects, their shared existentialist foundations tied their philosophies together. Camus saw existence as an enigma, with the search for meaning ultimately leading to an absurd universe. He advocated for living authentically and finding happiness through rebellion against the absurd. Sartre, on the other hand, emphasized the interconnectedness of human existence. He believed that our choices and actions not only impact ourselves, but also have profound effects on the collective human experience. The political differences between Camus and Sartre further illuminated their contrasting perspectives. Camus leaned towards an individualistic stance, prioritizing personal freedom and opposing authoritarianism. He remained skeptical of overarching political ideologies and believed in the power of rebellion against oppressive systems. Sartre, on the other hand, embraced Marxism as a means to address social inequality. He saw collective action and political activism as essential tools for societal change. Camus's experiences with resistance during World War II greatly influenced his philosophy. He became an advocate for rebellion against oppression and injustice. While he shared concerns about social inequality, he approached politics with caution, wary of ideologies that might stifle individual freedom. Sartre, heavily involved in political activism, saw Marxism as a framework for addressing social issues. He believed in the collective struggle against oppression as a means to achieve a more just society. Sartre's philosophy intertwined deeply with his political beliefs as he believed in the potential for societal transformation through collective action. Despite never formally joining the French Communist Party, he maintained a staunch defense of communism across Europe until 1956. However, the events in Budapest, where Soviet tanks were deployed, served as a turning point for him. It was then that he ultimately became convinced that the USSR did not offer the path to progress. Sartre's ideological stance remained unpredictable, as evidenced by his prolonged and peculiar flirtation with hardline Maoism until his death in 1980. While he distanced himself from the USSR, 
he never entirely renounced the notion that revolutionary violence could be justified. As with many intellectual relationships, the connection between Camus and Sartre eventually soured. Their differing political stances and philosophical approaches led to heated debates and public disagreements in the 1950s. While they initially enjoyed a camaraderie, their diverging paths eventually drove them apart. Despite their strained relationship, both Camus and Sartre left profound legacies. Their works continue to inspire countless individuals seeking answers to questions about the meaning of life, human freedom, and social justice. Camus' premature death in a car accident in 1960 cut short his intellectual journey, but his writings and philosophical contributions remain influential. Sartre, on the other hand, continued writing and engaging in political activism until his death in 1980, leaving a lasting impact on philosophy and society.